Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. I'm going to be ranking the Realm of the Mad God tier 7 abilities from worst to best. Now, this is based off of, you know, basically how important are they to have and own, and um, are they going to be best in slot for the majority of the, the game? Uh, for example, we could start with the tier 7 shield, which is going to go in D tier because the Ogmer exists, and the Ogmer is no longer a rare item because you can just get the Ogmer from the Tinkerer. Um, several times per year, the, the Ogmer blueprint will be put in there. So there's no reason to use a tier 7 shield. I have like three of these, I think. So it might be the one I've gotten the most of. And yet I, I don't, I never find a use for it ever. Because if I want to stun something, then I'm just going to use the Estulon anyway. So this shield has no purpose at all, unless you're a PPE that doesn't have a better alternative. But we're not going to rank this based off of PPEs. Then, um... You know, I make these videos on a whim, so it's not like I have a list in front of me that I'm copying. I'm just doing this on the go. So let's see. What do I think next? I think the cloak is pretty useless as well. I'm going to put the cloak lower than the shield because, first of all, rogue is just not that good, unfortunately. So invisible is pointless. So all you're really going to get from this is plus 40 HP, but you are better off using a plane walker for the teleport feature, which is a, a very common tradable item now. So... No reason to use a tier 7 cloak other than just looking cool. Pretty cool color, but no, no no usefulness there. And um, next up we'll have the, maybe the loot. I'll put the loot in the C tier. That's just because the Shatter's loot is a lot better. Um, so I don't really see a, a purpose or a reason to use this one over the Shatter's loot. So that's going to be the main reason for me. Yes, the Shatter's loot's more rare. But, you know, I, you can get it as a blueprint as well. That's how I got it. I didn't get it from a drop as, from the boss. I got it from a blueprint. So if I can get it from a blueprint, then uh, you can as well. And, yeah, I also imagine playing Bard. Then we'll have the Prism. The Prism is actually going to go lower than the... Yeah, it's going to go lower than the, the Cloak. Or maybe higher? Hmm... No, it's going to go lower than the cloak because the plus 40 HP doesn't matter on this because uh, the Puppet Theater Prism also has plus 40 HP, so you're already getting no benefit there. And as far as the Prism goes, it's, an ex it's the most expensive teleport option in exchange for a long uh, decoy, but this is not the ideal decoy to use. You're better off using a Brain or... There's a lot of options. Honestly, even Dire Instability, I'd probably prefer to this one as far as the decoy goes so yes it's a good decoy but there are so many other better decoys in my opinion next up we'll have the poison which is also not very good but it's not terrible i'll put it lower than the loot the poison's not good because you want to be using the um the crystal fang venom poison plus four attack plus four dex and it armor breaks from a distance so that item is just infinitely better than this one and if you want a defensive, uh, actually, yeah, I guess this would be the best defensive one, but also the bottled uh, med, meduzozin, medu, so, so the Cynodarian Reef poison is also a pretty good defensive uh, poison anyway, so there are there is an alternative to this one as well. Not terrible, though. I would still consider using it. Then we'll have the trap. The trap I'll put in the B tier. It's very average, but you're better off using a... Uh, a, a what's it called the vile spirit you're better off using a vile spirit and like i said none of these event whites are like rare anymore because you can just craft them so yeah it's not like the rarity of a tier 7 trap and a, a vile spirit is honestly kind of the same <laughs> because i mean you could argue this one's even more rare because you can't craft this one so yeah times have changed next we're gonna have the tier 6 orb not good not good at all in fact, how bad is it? I'd say it's our, our new worst one. The reason this one is so bad is because you want to be using a bloody. A bloody conflict is what you want to use. Um, and if you're going to use a stasis prism, you want to use a tier 2 or a tier 1 or 3. Uh, this is similar to this one. Like The actual purpose of a prism is to teleport, so you want lower MP cost. That's why tier 0 is best in slot. Same thing with this orb. You want a... Uh, 
more cost efficient one because there's no situation where you want to stasis something for maximum duration. It's always going to be like three or four seconds maximum. So you don't need to use this. Then we'll have the quiver, which is probably pretty decent. Yeah, I'd put in A tier. It, it's probably pretty decent, but nah, no, 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 no. It's going to go in B tier higher than the, the trap. Um, Void Quiver is better, and it also has some defensive stats on it, so you're not really missing out too much. And um, also, quip, there's so many different Quivers that are more useful than this one. But this one's basic. It's functional, so easy paralyze and plus 40 HP is nice. Then we'll have the Skull, which is a little unfortunate. Actually, I should have looked up the stats of this one before I did this video. Because I can't remember if this one has more stats than the Cult Skull or not. But regardless, I think it is good. But the Cult Skull is just so much better. Just because of the curse function as well. So I'll probably put this in top of B. It's, it's decent. Nothing wrong with using it. But there are better Skulls. Both the Shaitan and Cult Skull outclass this one, I believe. Then we'll have the Tier 7 Spell. This one is not very good. Yeah, that one, you are you don't need defensive stats on Wizard because you're already like two miles away. So it's just a really bad low DPS spell compared to um, the, whatever it's called, um, the Dama spell. And there's a lot of spells that outclass this. The Tablet, obviously. So no reason to use the Tier 7 spell, unfortunately. Tier 7 Tome, also pretty bad. Probably D tier, to be honest. Yeah, I'd put it I'd put it there, unfortunately, because you want to be using a fungal tome, a puri, a prot. There's way more useful tomes than this one, so no need to get that. And we'll have the tier seven uh, sh sheath. I would say this is not very good. Better than the spell, I guess, but yeah, not very good. I'd rather use the crystal cavern sheath, as well as a bunch of st ones that are better. Tier seven mace. Good defensive stats, I guess, but the the shatters, the shatters uh, mace is way better than this one, so probably not one that I would use either. So I'd put it in bottom of B. Man, we have not we have not even breached the A tier, and we already have five. We only have five abilities left. That's kind of sad. So <clears throat> we're getting into the good ones now. The walkie. How good is this one? Let me think. Are there that there's not that many great walkies in this game. So I would say this one is actually pretty good. I'd put it in A tier. Probably one of the best walkies in the game. Great stats, good DPS, decent amount of expose, and it's much more balanced in mid than the other ones. For example, the Eastern Winds is entirely for expose, where the Shaitan one's entirely for DPS. This one's in the middle though, and is much easier to control. So I think this one's actually worth using. Then we'll have the tier 7 star. This one's pretty good too. I'd probably put it lower, but pretty pretty good. I've always wanted this, but I've just... I've, yeah, so of all of these abilities, I have them all except for the star and the helmet. I have all of the rest of them. I don't think I have the prism either. And maybe not the sheath, but I definitely have the rest. So the star I've always wanted, and I've just never been able to get it. But even with that bias... It's probably pretty good because it's a speedy star with defensive stats and a very... It probably does more than like 1,200 damage every time you press spacebar, I believe. So it is pretty good. And, and it does not have that many competitors. Like Kagaboshi is... It's, Kagaboshi is good, but it's not going to be like that much better than this. And the Hanagasaku is not really worth using at all, really. So this one probably is very good. Next up, we'll have, so we have three left here. This is where things get tricky. I'm going to put the Scepter in S tier. I think it's best in slot for every single content in this game at all times. It's also the number one highest DPS solo content thing ever. So if you want to do like solo halls, solo shatters, solo nest, this is the item that lets you just burn through it. You can do solo cogs very easily with this as well. So this is just a busted item, just extremely OP. And uh, none of the scepters come close to this one. So let's see. The seal is good, but is it that great? Yeah, it's good. 
but how good is it? I'll put it in, uh, this is going to be our ranking. So we're going to have helmets in number two best because uh, jug is not that necessary anymore. So this helmet is definitely better. Uh, and also the seal is going to be number three because it has extra whiz mod, extra uh, uh, more time damaging. It's just better overall. But the reason I didn't put it higher than the other two is because I would rather use a an Oreo at all times basically than this one. But if you're like, if you want to be a team player and you're playing in a group, then you would use this one. So yeah, there's the tier seven abilities ranked from worst to best in my opinion. More like least to most important to own. So if you're a new player and you're wondering which ones you should get, you should get the ones in the S tier. And honestly, the ones below the S tier, including the A tier, you can skip. You do not have to get the A tier stuff and below. Um, but obviously, use your own judgment. If you don't have an Ogmer, you just can't get your hands on an Ogmer, then you'd want to get a tier 7 shield. If you... No, you can get a Peary and a Prod. You do not need this tome. So really, the shield is if you just cannot get an Ogmer, and the S tier is you must get. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.